Hello, this is Dumpy, and welcome to a, another live stream. We're going to be carrying on where we left off with my relearning Minecraft stream series. Uh, basically, if you didn't see the last stream and don't know what this is, uh, I am getting back into Minecraft. This will be the only time I answer it, but I'll be asked it a lot throughout the stream. Yes, Lovely World is coming back, but it's not coming back today, and I'm not doing it in the stream. Uh, but yeah, Lovely World is returning, but the problem is, is that uh, I've been trying to, to prepare and do some Lovely World videos, and it turns out I'm not very good at Minecraft anymore. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I was never good at Minecraft, but uh, basically I'm learning uh, on Bedrock how everything works there, and then also kind of working out about all of the new mechanics and mobs and additions and features and biomes and changes of the controls and stuff. I'm basically learning all of those things just so when Lovely World does return, hopefully I won't frustrate you all by just being really, really bad at Minecraft. Uh, so this is kind of what it sounds like. It is me relearning how to, to play Minecraft. So I'm just going to be playing through a brand new survival world, which I started in the last stream. Going to be doing a bit of building, a bit of playing around, a bit of exploring. But the main focus is going to be on features which are new, uh, at least to, to me. So I'm still kind of making my way through the aquatic update and trying to work out all of the new things that have been going on there. Uh, then we're going to be doing some of the villager and pillager stuff, which is good because I have a village and a pillager tower, whatever that thing's called. What's it called? The... Oh, the pillager outpost. There's a pillager outpost nearby, so I will uh, go through all of that stuff. Should probably get at least like a diamond sword or something right before I uh, I do that. Uh, we do have Alex with us. We do have a corgi cam. She's buried herself inside of a of a beanbag, but yeah, she's going to be chilling out in the the background. Um, yeah, she's probably going to go get hyper at some point and start playing around. Um, yeah, but the first thing I want to do today is I want to find a shipwreck. I want to make a uh, I think it's a conduit conduit I want to make with a I'm on the heart of the sea, and I want to use it to craft a conduit, because I've never seen the heart of the sea in-game, and I've never seen a conduit, and I've never made one, so that's going to be something for me to, to learn all of the uh, the ins and outs uh, about. Uh, how's everyone doing, though? How many people are here? So, I, I thought... So, last time I did this stream, I did it on Sunday, and later in the evening, and that was a bit of a mistake, because <laughs> kind of too many people showed up, and it made it, which is, which is nice, like, I want people to be able to watch it and enjoy it, but, like, a big part of the, the idea of these streams is that you would be able to, to help me out, and the, the comments, uh, could kind of guide me and give me advice, and that did happen, but it did kind of get to the point where, uh, it was very difficult to, to read through, uh, everyone's messages, uh, just because the, the chat was scrolling so fast, so, there's still quite a lot of people here today, but not as many, uh, as the, there were last time. Uh, so hopefully it will be a little bit more relaxed and it always is like there's always a very hype start to the streams and loads of people there and then people gradually like get bored or hungry or, or find, <laughs> find something better to, to do and it gradually goes down so things will uh will probably uh calm down a little bit out uh hello to uh to hey it's olivia hello to uh to flexi who just says ha 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 <laughs> Hello to, to Shane, who says, hey, Stamps. Hello to, to Blue Kitties, who says, hi. Hello to Too Perfect, who says, hello. Uh, hello as well. Oh, okay, now it goes fast. Now the chat's caught up. Hello to Richard. Hello to Mr. Space. Hello to Corgi Games. Great username, Corgi Games. Great username, uh, uh, profile picture as well. <laughs> hello to everyone. Hello to, to everyone's in the, the stream. So, uh, yeah, before we get into the gameplay, uh, let me first do a, a few shout outs to uh, some donations that have come through. Uh, hello, Michael. Welcome back to the stream. Just says, how, how are you? I'm doing okay. Not done much. I actually had uh, the last two days in a row, I've had social engagements, which considering the lockdown is something that hasn't happened in a while. We had two kind of like small, like not garden parties, but people came around. We played croquet, which is a great social distance game and stuff. So uh, yeah, like for me, life has almost not returned to normality, but like I've tricked my brain into to thinking that life was almost normal. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing good, thanks. I think as well to, to Anna, as well as uh, Lee's Aviation, who says, keep it up. Uh, Finn the, the Garrett says, thanks for the vids. Uh, Cheez-Its uh, says, first thing you'll do when the Never update. Uh, I, I think I'll do, like, a stream learning, like, what to, like, about all of the Never stuff, because I've not really looked into that. Uh, but I'm just playing the base game. I'm not doing, like, the beta or, like, the snapshot stuff uh, uh, or any of, uh, of those things. 
Thank you to uh, Taashi mate, uh, as well as uh, Jogitin, who just says, what's good? Uh, thanks uh, as well to, to Julian, who says, I used to always try to recreate your Minecraft builds. Uh, thank you as well to, to Echo, who's watched since 2013, as well as the Mine Creeper. Uh, thank you as well to, to Jellybean, who says, uh, am I going to play Overwatch again? Uh, probably. Uh, I'll probably do Overwatch again at some point in the, the future, not sure when. Thank you to <clears throat> Tells the Pony Fox, aka Dog Fox, aka Human Fox, for becoming a member. I would really like to know the story of how you came up with that username. <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's great. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Orange Yoshbosh, as well as Joe Blocks. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Space Man and uh, Toby Mortimer. Thank you to Slippery DJ Dan, who says he loved the content, as well as Grooviest Globe. God, I feel like Slippery DJ Dan and Grooviest Globe should like team up, team up and like start like a band or like I don't know, like DJ duos or, or something. <laughs> uh, thanks well to, to Titanic Lovers as well as uh, uh, Exalize. Uh, thank you to uh, to Pastel Ducky and uh, MLBF Collections, who says uh, thanks for being a huge fan. Oh, whoa! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, no, I'm not looking at you. I was in the game in the background while this was going on. And then an enderman just like teleported right in front of my face. I'm gonna get him. Do shield, shields help against enderman? I'll, I'll sneak up. I'll sneak up to him. Don't steal my sand. Ah! Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's outside the door. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do my little, look. have I opened the door? He'll come up to the door and I just hit him through the doorway. Little, little trap. I'm, I'm scared of just creepers in general, but also now because I've been in the game for like the, the whole night. And so I don't know whether they're going to be all surrounding me. Are we okay? Ah! Nope, we're not okay. We're not okay. Well, it doesn't look like there's any other googlies close by at least. So I can focus 1v1 against the, uh, the Enderman. And I was able to, to get it. So on Bedrock... Do they not have the thing where... Because I know that... I don't know if they do still have it on Java or whether they changed it back. But it used to be that, like, if you attacked too fast, you would end up, like, doing less damage. Is that, like, still a thing on, um... Is that a thing at all on Bedrock? Because there used to be, like, a little circle that go around the cursor. But I kind of just, like, spammed like crazy. And things were okay. No cooldown on Bedrock, only Java. Okay, that's good. That's good, because I, I was in the uh, the camp of, uh, of not being the biggest fan of that uh, mechanic, uh, as I know a lot of people were. I do actually, are there any other spiders? Because I was going to try... I think I saw a spider over here somewhere. I was going to try and make a fishing rod, because I want to... I want to feed a dolphin a fish. And then use that to... Um, to find a shipwreck. Oh, there's a zombie burning down here. Are there any spiders still lurking around? Yeah, see you later, zombie. Things, things ain't gonna end well for you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> he waited up all night. He waited up all night for that ambush opportunity. And then, yeah, immediately got destroyed. Oh, I made a bow. I kind of regret it. So I can catch... I can catch fish in buckets now. Can I get, like... It's gonna sound silly, but can I get the fish back out of the bucket? Does that make sense? So say if I catch a fish in a bucket. Let's just, let's just play around with this anyway. Because I've not really I've not really done much playing around with like the new fish. But if I catch a fish in a bucket. Can I then get that so I'm j I just have the fish? Uh, yes you can. You can do that. Okay so I don't, I don't even need a fishing rod. I do this like old fashioned style and just dive into the water and just try and get them. Oh, there we go. Here's some fish. Because it needs to be a raw... I know I've got a cooked fish in my inventory, but it needs to be a raw fish. Right, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> there's, something so, I don't, there's something so funny about that. Just like going and like, just scooping up a fish. And like, if I go in the water, I got that. Like, how does the fish just not swim away now? Like, while it's in the bucket. Okay. So, how do I get... How do I get the fish out of the bucket? Uh, any tips? So I've got th I got this fish. And put it down here, I guess. How, how do I get it so I'm just holding a fish that I could feed to a dolphin? 
uh, place it. Place it in water. So I want to be. Oh, can I? I want to be just holding the fit. Do I just? Do I just? Do I just kill it? Hit it. Left trigger. Remove the water. Stab the fish. Okay, let's just kill the fish then. Okay, then it just becomes oh, and a bone. Oh no. Oh dear. That's a to be look. To be fair, <laughs> look at the size of that bone, and then look at the size of that fish. Did that bone come out of that fish? <laughs> As a, I mean, I don't know like much about the anatomy of fish, but like that seems like a very big bone to come out of a very small fish. If you were, uh, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna because we're going on an adventure. And my farm is uh, a bit lacking at the moment. I want to gather up a little bit more, a little bit more food, before we go and uh, and head off. Yeah, because I I just haven't played around much with like fish actually being like animals in the game. If that makes sense, because fish before were basically just like items that would only appear with a, a fishing rod. So I didn't know I could just go and like kill the fish. Whoa, since when were there like 7,000 people here? <laughs> Last time I looked, it was like 3,000 something. I think things will uh, will calm down a little bit later on. Uh, right, so I need, I need to feed that fish to a dolphin. And then the dolphin's going to lead me to a shipwreck. So I actually, I looked up the... Oh, look at Alex. Look at Alex, she's settled down on the giant... I need to get like a tiny pillow for like behind me so she can have a, a more doggy, doggy sized pillow. In the the background, and um, yeah, I looked at the uh, the coordinates for where my house is, and I wrote them on the whiteboard. I think you just about can't see them, but it's one thousand by one hundred are the dimensions, and then the y-axis, which is the height, is just sixty-four, which is like a stack. How cool is that? Like my house is one thousand by one hundred. So weird. Um, right, let me, uh, while we're waiting for some of this food to cook, uh, I, I was shouting out some don donations and I never got through them all. So I want to say thank you to uh, a few more people. Uh, so thank you to, um, uh, I did Pastel Ducky, uh, MLBF Collection, thank you so much, uh, as well as Spider, who uh, said this just popped up in their recommendation and they jumped in. Thank you to, uh, to Super King, as well as Death Destroyer. Thank you to, uh, to Ashimate and, uh, Horcrux, uh, as well. Thank you to uh, Alexandru uh, from Romania, uh, Jared uh, Olov, uh, GDC Hall, uh, as well as uh, Dalit Khan. Uh, thank you, uh, Daisy Joni, for becoming a member. Uh, Duncan says, can you turn on show coordinates, please? So I don't like leaving them on, so I don't like just the text on the top of the screen. But I have looked up, like, where my house is. Uh, thank you to uh, Everything Automotive, as well as Josh Fitton. Uh, thank you to uh, Kaiwi uh, Potato, uh, as well as uh, Tiger Lily's Fire. Uh, thank you to uh, to Riley Plays, uh, as well as Ben Myers, and uh, Gamer Now Done, and uh, Meritless. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Cody Warner, and to uh, to Anthony Walker as well. Thank you all so much for the, uh, the donations. Uh, should, I, should I take a bed with me? I think we'll be okay, because we're going to be out in the ocean anyway. Maybe this is going to be like famous last words, but I think we uh we should be relatively safe from the uh the googlies. So for those just joining, I'm trying to find a shipwreck because I'm trying to find the um the heart of the sea or a heart of the sea. Uh, which I think uh I found in like shipwrecks and like maybe also like water temple type places. Uh, not entirely sure, but first things first. Uh, I need to find some dolphins. So I kind of set off, like, for a bit of a mission in the last stream. But I was always scared about not being able to find my way back home. Uh, but now I've, like, saved my coordinates. I'm kind of not so stressed about it. Because I, I, even if it is a bit of a journey, at least I know no matter what, I will be able to, to make my way back home. Uh, Squiz says playing on PC. Uh, no, this is on a... 
Bedrock on Xbox, but my lovely world will be on PC uh, when I go back to it, but on Bedrock as well. Right, dolphin. Dolphin, I have fish. Oh, hello. Eat, eat, eat the fish. Dolphin, eat the fish. Is that a llama? Is that like one of the traveling... I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to tell you how to do your job, mate. I don't... I just don't think you're going to find many customers here. You know? I mean, I don't... I, I don't know. I've never been a traveling salesman or whatever you are. But I just feel like this isn't the place you're going to get most customers. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's selling fish. And the dolphins are his most loyal customers. But I ain't so sure. Right. Dolphin, eat a fish. Oh, did you eat a fish? Oh, one, one's gone sparkly. Oh, where's my boat? Where's my boat? Oh, oh there it is. Oh, it's going this way. It's going this way. Oh, is, it, is it going down? I, I, th I think I... Do I need to get like a... um? Oh, here! Ah! I think that's where it was guiding me to. I can't see it like when I'm above the water. Let's just swim, let's just swim. Does the old torch trick still work? Nope, it doesn't, doesn't let me place a torch. So one of the things that's like, I'm struggling with is so on the old version, if I crouched when in the water, I could go down really quickly. But in this one, like, it's not letting me, like, do it for some reason. Oh, and I'm drowning. Oh, no. Up, 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 up. <laughs> they look so stupid. <laughs> look at them swimming towards me. They look so goofy. <laughs> and, like, how do I put my shield up without swimming under the water? Is there, is there just not a way to do that? Oh, they got, like, one of those, like, is that, like, a Neptune shell or something? I can't remember what those do. Yeah. Oh, I. Oh, I. Nort. 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 Shell. Right. Let's. Uh, let's try this again. Is this. Is this. Is this it? Is this the whole. Is there, there's just nothing there, is there? Is that what all my excitement was about? Finding this thing here? Uh, right, what do what what does this thing then? What does the uh the nort nautilus shell do? Does that do anything? Uh oh the shells are used to make the conduit. Oh dig the sand I don't know if it's, I keep like almost drowning as I go down here. Let's go like right above it. Oh that is the heart of the sea? What what there's one down here? Oh, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. Right, I need to find a. Uh, oh, go away! <laughs> I need to find. What's the uh? What's the best way to breathe underwater now? Now the tr uh the thing doesn't work. If I do the old like ladder trick or door trick in underwater, is that going to is that gonna still work? Nope, that's not working. Ah, God. I just sh I just shut the door in his face underwater. How do I how do I breathe underwater if like doors do like do ladders work? Use a door to breathe. The door didn't work. How how do I breathe under underwater? Like I don't have a turtle helmet, so I can't make use that yet. Dig. There is a is a chest. Uh, bubble columns? Someone said ladder, a sign? Do signs work now? Because torches and doors don't work. Uh... Right, let's, let's try a ladder. Don't you, don't, just don't start. Just leave me alone, I'm busy. No, nope, ladders don't work. Ladders don't work. Ladders don't work. It just, it just ugh, I mean, signs aren't going to work either then. I think they just like changed all of that stuff. So someone says bubble columns work. 
Like, can I make bubble columns? Or is, is that like the ones with, like, soul sand and stuff? Like, is there anything I can do, like, quickly now that will work? Like, saying, like, magma block and stuff for, like, the columns is fine. But I need a thing... Is there anything that I can just place immediately now? Doors don't work. I can hear you all say magma block, but I don't have one of them. Okay, a few people are still saying signs, but I just feel like if the the ladder and the door, like all of if if all of this other stuff doesn't work, I'd be surprised if like signs still worked. I'll give it a go. Nah, signs don't work anymore. Yeah, that's that. See, all that stuff used to work, but it doesn't anymore. I just want to see what's down there. I'm going to need to get that, like, that turtle helmet thing, right? And you guys aren't helping. Oh, I'm actually getting quite a little bit, a little bit tender here now. I do have a bow, but no arrows. Right, so I think I'm just gonna go for like a like a speed dig, and just try and go uh, as much as I can. So am, am I digging like underneath this thing? Is that the the plan? God, I just like start drowning immediately. Yeah, dig under un dig underneath. Uh, torches work. No torches don't work. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, I wonder if a, I wonder if a bucket would work. And if I like pick up the water, maybe that would like work once. So if I go here and then go like that. Nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> Worth a try. Ah, okay. I saw the chest. I gotta go breathe, but I saw the chest. I saw the chest! Is there, is there only one chest at these things, or can you get multiple? Oh, I thought there was nothing in it for a second there, just because it wasn't loading. Oh, I got a treasure map! exciting and then, then I think the dolphin was just finishing off looting it for me just the one someone says just the one and then other people say multiple so I, <laughs> I realize the problem with uh with asking the the chat for this kind of stuff oh. hello uh what in animal crossing no it's where I got the other one is it, uh, Julia? Oh! Am I, like, am I, like, riding the... Did the dolphin just, like, take me to the... I don't know. To the thing? Maybe you wanted to walk Julia. Because you live here, did you not? That's okay. <laughs> right, now I actually remember, like... Which way did I come from, is the question. I was going to turn coordinates on, because otherwise I definitely know I'm going to go the wrong way. Bye! Okay. So it was like a thousand by a hundred. So I guess this way? Should put like some like lights up on the other side. Mohammed says you noob. I know, that's the point. That's why I'm that's why I'm learning. Use the, the treasure map. Yeah, I will do. I'm just gonna go go home and uh, and sleep to, to make it day first. Uh tra oh, treasure maps are for shipwrecks. Oh perfectly. Perfectly, perfect. That's what we uh, that's what I was after. 
God, that was stressful, to be fair. So I really want to make this, like, uh, this turtle helmet thing to help me breathe underwater. Especially if we're going to be, uh, getting... Don't, don't, don't even think about it, please. No, let me have the water. No, no, let me get out of the water. Right, there we go. I can, I can dodge the arrows or block them at least. <laughs> Stop it. You're so... You're not even doing much damage, but you're just so, so annoying. Yeah, look, look, look at the dimensions. They're almost like... So if I stand like here, it's like a thousand to a hundred. is like basically like right where the house is. Sorry, sheep. Nothing personal. Alright, let's go to bed. Whew! Well, that was like, despite the the troubles, that was a uh, a pre like a, a pretty successful trip. I kind of want to look up to like uh, how to stay underwater Minecraft bedrock because all all of like signs and stuff like that didn't work. Uh, is there a way to breathe underwater without potions? Oh, if you stack scaffolding up to the surface of the water, you can remove the water from inside the scaffolding with an empty bucket and then dump it somewhere else, creating a pillar of air. Oh, and then the reply to that is, yeah, those tricks don't work anymore. Figure that out pretty quick myself. Like, so there's the... I know there's, like, the turtle helmet thing, but don't I need, like... Well, how, let's see about this turtle helmet thing, then. Because don't I need, like, to find, like, turtle eggs or something for that? Uh, turtle... Helmet Minecraft. So my... Uh, oh, turtle shell. Turtle shells are items that are used for brewing or as a helmet to give the player water-breathing status effects. Um... Oh, I need to use scoot, skew, scoot? What is that? I don't know what that word is. <laughs> what are these? Uh, scoots. Am I saying that right? Uh, are items that are... Big ad Go away, big advert. Go away! Uh, are items that baby turtles drop when they grow into adults. Ah! Which can be used to... Okay. Well, I need to find five of them? Yikes. That probably uh, won't happen very much. Scoots! <laughs> People say that. Scoots! It's pronounced skewits. I mean, I, I just uh, said it how, it how it sounds from the, the reading. See if uh, my... Is this wheat fully grown? Eh. Yeah. It's grown enough to harvest. we go grab some of this. It'd be nice to... To end my rampage on the uh, the local wildlife. And be able to... To have a wheat farm instead. Alright, then I'll look at the, the treasure map. And then the, uh, the next goal... Will be to try and find the shipwreck.
Right, that'll be all growing for when I get back. I see you, Creeper. Are you coming over? God, they see you some so far away now. I swear, like, in the past, that Creeper wouldn't have, like, started heading towards me then. Oh, what? Ooh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, I'm sure I'm hitting it. I'm sure I'm hitting it. I was like, they're swinging it. It was just there staring at me. <laughs> Uh, am I going to do another Sten series after Space Den? Uh, so we don't have one planned. But then again, like, when we finished um, Ocean Den, we didn't really, you know, we didn't have Space Den planned then. So, um, there won't be another Den starting straight after Space Den. But that isn't to say there won't be another Den series in the future at some point. It just won't be starting straight after. Uh, right then, shall we, uh, we look at the old treasure map then? How, how do these treasure maps work? Oh. Right. Uh, oh, 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 there's me. There's me down here. Okay. I was going to say, like, that's that doesn't help me very much. So I can see I'm down here. So I guess I just need to go, like, in that direction. And I'll find it. And it's a shipwreck. So I guess... Is the the brown? Is that the water? I guess. Right, I should probably take a bed with me. That's not wall. Right? Just so I can sleep on the road. Oh, I need three wool to make a bed, don't I? Sorry, sheep. Sorry. Sorry, sheep. I need a bed. Hello from the Philippines. Hello, everyone watching from the Philippines. Uh, it's not a shipwreck. It's buried treasure. Oh, really? Oh, some people said that uh, it leads to a shipwreck. I mean, bu buried treasure ain't bad by itself anyway, though. Oh, so I guess maybe the, it's on it's on land then. Right at the right at the coast. All right, seeing as I got a bed, let's uh let's just go and head off. So if I just keep heading in like that general direction, I should get to where I need a uh, need to go. I'm gonna take the boat because I might be having to cross a bunch of water. Like I, I'm assuming there's like a limit to like how far away this stuff could be. <laughs> So hopefully I'm not just, like, running for, like, ever. Because I don't seem to be, like, even on this square of map yet. I just don't know, like, how big of a space they are. Very treasure have diamonds, right? Oh, do they? That would be great, because I'd love to have a, a diamond sword. I'm in desperate need of, a, of an upgrade from my, my iron sword. I always want to find some bamboo. I've never um, crafted... Is this all going to collapse if I run on it? No, it's okay. Uh, I've never found and like uh, found bamboo in the game and crafted my own scaffolding. And so that's like I'd like to play around. Oh, I'm, I'm close, I'm close, I'm close. That's not far away at all. Oh, look at this place. Oh, I should have lived here. It's so snowy. I guess I'm close to it. So cool seeing all the trees like that. Let me have the water. There we go. We got some spruce trees. Oh. I've like completely gone way past where the buried treasure is. <laughs> I got a bit, I got a bit excited. Oh, this, this one's got a trident. 
So I believe he's got a chance to drop it, right, if I go after him. I think he dropped it. Did I get it? I don't know if I picked it up. Oh, did it? I didn't drop down that big hole, did it? Is there a trident down there? Oh, I, I, th I think he just didn't drop it. All right, let's be uh, let's be careful because I'm actually getting a bit getting a bit hurt here. Let's go and uh, back off for a little bit. Oh, items float. Oh, yeah, it's up on the surface. See, see, this is this is actually I know it's like quite a minor thing, but these are the things that I wanted to like kind of really properly learn about before going back to doing lovely world properly, because like the fact that items float on water, like they didn't used to. So now that like, you know, that might inform some sort of mini game or from designing some sort of shop where like, the, you know, like remember my um, my sky high restaurant where like I'd send the items up like to the top, you know, that could be a water pillar, you know, if the, the version I'm using doesn't work and stuff. So that's kind of the stuff I want to learn. And whoa, look, X marks the spot. All right. I mean, I'm about as like as close as I can judge on that big old map. So how, how how big can these things be? I'm really trying to avoid letting all of the, the water in if I can. Dig all around. Uh, always on the sand layer, someone said. Like, is that true? Can we can we have some confirmation for that? <laughs> They're always under the sand blocks. Okay, that's good. So I shouldn't have to dig too far. But I just need to dig, like, around this whole area, basically. Actually, you know what I should do? I brought my bed, didn't I? I should, uh, I should have a little nap. This digging's tiring work. Uh, tridents are less rare on bedrock. Yeah, I don't want the trident just because it was rare. It's just like, I just haven't played. I just want to play with it. I've, just, I, like, I've used a trident very briefly in, uh, in Space Den. But I never really kind of worked how good it was, how much damage, and how it really worked. So how does it work? So, because I can I can use it as a melee weapon, can't I? And then I can kind of throw it. But then when I throw it, I don't have to go and like pick it back up again every time. Or is there like a way to... Is there a way to like bring it back to myself? God, you know what? It's pretty cool the way it like sticks out the blocks that it gets thrown into. I'm <laughs> like... I don't... It's funny because it's like this thing. It's like, yeah, it's a weapon. How much damage does it do? And I like my first thought is, ah... That could make a good darts game or something, you know. My first thought is like, ah, that could be useful for some sort of weird mini game. I mean, it's got to be right round here somewhere. I'm literally like sitting on the, in the middle of the big old X. Just hopefully it's not like on the edge, like in the water. Uh, oh, you can enchant it. Oh, can you enchant it and then it comes back? There's an enchantment called loyalty. Ah. Once again, all useful information for me relearning Minecraft. Cool, you know, this is so much better than if I was just uh, playing this by myself, trying to learn this thing. Because there's so many things that, like, I had got wrong or I just didn't know about. And, like, because the alternative would be just playing and then just spending ages reading through the Minecraft wiki. Which would just be so boring. Whereas if I do it this way, you get to see the Minecraft content you had been asking for. <laughs> and then I get to, to learn very efficiently. Alright then, where's this buried treasure? Let me look around like... The sand on the outside here then. Oh, you just dig so slow when you're in the water. 
I can see they look. Why do they look so silly while they're swimming up to you? Their little silly faces. Go away, you. Take your take yourself, and your silly little face out of here. All right. I don't want anything to do with you. Dig the stone under the sandstone. Oh really? I thought I thought it was. I thought we were in agreement that it's only on in the sand layer. Was that just was that? Was that not true? Mind the stone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I, I was told earlier that it was. What wasn't it there? Was it? What was that? No, I was told that it would only be in the sand layer. So. I thought that I was digging in the wrong place. Sorry, right, let's go to this water, then we dig under the stone then. So for those just joining, uh, wondering what's going on. Um, I'm looking for buried treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yeah, I, I got a treasure map. And apparently there's buried treasure, like, literally right here. Look, here's the map. I'm, like, s sitting in it. It's, like, maybe slightly more this way. I don't know how exact that X is. So I'm just trying to dig down to try and track it out. There better be something really good here. The thing is, is obviously like the main way to find this stuff would be through a treasure map. But I guess you got a chance just to like... <gasps> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think don't chests break sand now? They do. Just like torches. Yeah, like you just have a chance just to stumble across this. That'd be like, imagine just trying to like dig around on a beach and then you just stumble across this. Right, what we got? How long did I spend tracking down the treasure map, coming here and digging around to find this? Let's see whether it's going to be worth the effort. <gasps> Ooh, it is! It is! Name tag, iron, chainmail, potion of regenerate. I don't need to read it all out loud, do I? But that's quite fun. Dog tag, iron ingot, TNT, TNT again, one single diamond, Kinda of wish that was two diamonds, but I'll accept it. Uh, then what we got here? A, a potion of water breathing. That would be lovely for when we um we go find our shipwreck. Uh, then what else we got here? We got some chainmail trousers, the heart of the sea, which is kind of like the main thing that I wanted. Uh, let's go and grab that. And a music disc. There we go. Let's go and uh, grab that. Uh, in here uh, as well. There we go! That was a, a very, very successful trip and I made sure that I collected all of the important things out of the chest and didn't accidentally leave anything behind. I realised I accidentally left the diamond and the uh, the potion in here. Oh, and the heart of the sea! What? So this is this is what messes me up with uh, everyone saying go back. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking! It was a little, a little stream prank. So, Loads of, I, I, this is, I don't know how, but I always get the menus wrong in Bedrock when I'm switching things. So what? See, it seems like it's too, is it when I press, I think it's when I press Y to switch things. I always end up kind of doing it wrong somehow. And I'm not even like, like sure, like what I'm doing wrong. Like, cause now I'm like really focusing. It's working. Uh, so I guess I can get rid of the, um. The treasure map now, now that I've found the uh, the treasure. But yeah, whenever I'm like going to do it quickly, it always just like doesn't quite line up right. And I, I don't know why. Right, this trident's almost dead. So let's just throw it at a squid. <laughs> Sorry, squid. And then uh, <laughs> go grab the, the bed. And then uh, and go head home. Oh, hello. No, thank you. Not interested. Not interested, creeper. Not interested. So only, it was only one diamond, wasn't it? Right, I think my home was over like that way somewhere, right? Uh, I still want to find a shipwreck though. I might look into this conduit thing though and see how I can make that. Uh, dolphins, once fed a raw fish, they'll lead players to shipwrecks or ocean ruins. Okay, so I guess the dolphin that I found just took me to a, an ocean ruin rather than a, um, rather than a, a shipwreck. So I think I'm just going to, like, spread out a bit more and, uh, try and find, um, a dolphin nearer to a shipwreck. I do want to see one. And because now I've got the uh, the water breathing potion. 
Like, I don't think it will be, like, such a, a chore to go and try and find it. Like, everything, I've been quite lucky, I think, with so far, with, like, everything that I've mentioned that I want to do. Like, it's kind of, I've kind of been quite lucky as in it, it kind of just happens. It all kind of just works out quite easily. So I've been, uh, I've been quite, quite lucky in that regard. I just want to go clear up my, uh, clear up my inventory first before we go and uh, think about setting off again. I don't know if it's just because I'm running around a lot, but my hunger does seem to be going down like really, really quickly. Because we're, we're only playing on easy mode as well here. We're not playing on like hard or anything. I do seem to be getting like hungry quite quickly, quite a lot. Uh, I don't really, need, I don't really need the chain mal armor for now. Just so I got all this iron armor. I guess I'll I'll save it for a little bit later on. Uh, probably should keep the potion of regeneration on me. Throw the music disc in there. Save that for when I get my doggy, my name tag. Throw the iron in there. And the TNT in here. So this is the kind of stuff that I used to be much quicker with. But uh, I'm a little bit slower with the, the menus than I used to be. So that's kind of, as well as learning the, the new stuff, the, the stuff that I want to try and get a, uh, a, little, bit, uh, a little bit faster with. So uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can make the conduit. Uh, I haven't actually looked up what all of the other stuff uh, I need to, to make uh, are. I'll give you a quick corgi cam. Oh, Alex is <laughs> upside down, almost falling off the, the bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to do that before we go try and find the, the shipwreck. Uh, but yeah, first I want to go through uh, some uh, some donations that have came through while I'm, uh, I'm playing. Uh, thank you to uh, to Co-Captains Blue Gaming. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, as well as Tor Edwards for a huge uh, donation. Who says uh, says uh, guess who? Thank you so much for for coming back to the the stream and uh, for supporting the the channel. Uh, thank you to uh, to Julian Mendez who says no more lovely jobby love love petals in Minecraft. I know. I was sad that they changed it to poppies. There's poppies now. There's not roses. There's poppies in the the game. What? A, why change that? Like, I don't know, have they ever said why they changed that? Like, what? I don't know, like, I don't know, like, I don't care that much. But I wonder, like, why, like, why were they like, oh, we need to get rid of these roses? Like, I don't know, seems like a bit of a weird, a weird kind of pointless thing to do. But I don't know, maybe there's something that I don't know about. I uh, think as well to, uh, to Christina, as well as, uh, as just Caden, who says, dig that sand, boy. <laughs> Thank you to, uh, to JL Productions, as well as, uh, JM. Uh, as well as a uh, glorified uh, glorifindel the golden haired prince wow is that like a character from a book or something if not that is like such a cool original username <laughs> thank you so much to, uh, to void and uh Stu Roro, who says uh, my sons alexander and samuel have been watching you since they were babies and just wanted to say uh, hi oh cool uh, hello alexander hello samuel thank you for uh, for watching the the stream for for so long uh, thank you as so well to uh, to chloe for becoming a, a member uh, Yeet Yeet says, uh, what GPU do I have in my PC? So I mainly use a Mac. I do have a PC for gaming and it's got a NVIDIA, uh, 2010, oh, 2080 Ti, I think it is. I think that's what it is. Yeah, but I'm, I'm mainly a Mac guy, so I'm not very good at, like, PC spec stuff. <laughs> uh, thank you so much to, to Mr. Crocodilian. Welcome back to the, the stream. Uh, as well as, uh, as Jared. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, the only one lazy for real, and, uh, Brandon. Uh, Ducky Tuna just says, you back, question mark. I guess I am. <laughs> uh, oh, Super Duper Husky says, you find, uh, conduits in treasure chests, not ships. So I want to craft a conduit, um, but I guess that I had a chance to just find one in the chest that I was in. Um, unless he's talking about the heart of the, the sea. Uh, and maybe in, in that case, then I was looking in the wrong place. But I kind of want to see a shipwreck anyway, because I've never seen one. I've never seen, I think I've seen like a picture of one, but I've never seen a uh, a shipwreck in Minecraft in-game. So I want to experience that. Uh, oh, Jared said dolphins make you swim faster. I did notice that earlier. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Nick Winter, who uh, asked how uh, how's my day going, and it's uh, going pretty good. Um, thank you also to, uh, to Park Laura and Ian Plays. Uh, and oh, Rocky's here, says uh, just woke up. Uh, welcome to the the stream, Rocky. As well as uh, who should play and uh, and Owen Soup, who said the signs and doors won't work either. Uh, they made it so they don't give air blocks. Yeah, that's kind of one of the things that I was like struggling with 
was a uh, was not being able to to do that. Uh, right then, let's see if I can make a uh, see if I can make a conduit then. Let me just look up how to craft them. I should really know because if I go to here, then go to everything. So what isn't this meant to be just everything that I could craft, or or is it stuff that I have like? How do I get just the list of everything craftable? Oh, oh, here's a conduit. Okay, so what do we need? Oh, we need we need loads of Neptune shells. I see. And then one heart of the the sea. Okay, I, I got a couple of them. But we do need to to get some more of them. So, tell you what, let's uh, please don't be a creeper. Yeah, I should have checked. I have a lot of windows. I should have checked. <laughs> so Neptune shells, are they just you get them from the drowned? Or do you get them from a uh, from other places as well? That's kind of what I what I want to know. So it seems like, yeah, look, see, see, see they're they're carrying them. It seems like the main place you get them from is uh, from the drowned. But can you get them anywhere else as well? Oh, you can't see the game. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. My bad, guys. <laughs> oh, how long was that for? <laughs> yeah, for those that, like, don't normally watch my streams and uh, you're only uh, you're only jumping in because it's Minecraft I'm playing and not something else, uh, it's, it's a bit of a common occurrence for me to uh, forget to switch the screens. I get too excited. I get too into it and then I forget to... To actually change the screen. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Neptune shells. Uh, do you only get them from the drowned? Or do you get them from uh, from other places as well? Would be very helpful to, to know. Oh yeah, I don't know why I keep calling them Neptune. I know why I keep calling them Neptune shells. It's from Terraria, isn't it? There's Neptune shell in Terraria. So that shell, what's it, what's it, what are they called? Oh... No, you, you're meant to be water people. Oh, go away! Ah! I'm just going to run away from them. Was it, is, it, is it like nautica shells or something? But those shells, where, where else do you get them from? Uh, oh, you get shells from fishing and from the, the drowned. Oh, thanks, Tor Edwards. Okay, so I mean, I'm not going to sit there fishing for ages trying to find them. So I think the the quickest way is going to be doing the drown. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Seeing as I need to, I didn't realize I'd have to get a bunch of those shells. Let's uh, let's have a sleep, and then we're we're set off to get the the shipwreck because we're probably going to run into a bunch of the drowned anyway while we're doing that. It's well easier to go fishing with a sword than a fishing rod now, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, so these we're going to get a bunch of them anyway. Like, rather than just spending ages swimming around in the dark trying to get them, we we go for our, our search for the, the shipwreck, and then we'll probably just end up running in to, to get a bunch of them anyway. Right, I got a bunch of um of raw fish now that I can give to the uh, the dolphins. For them to lead me where I need to, to go. So I felt I'm going to go like a little bit further away from where we are now. Just so the dolphins don't keep trying to take me back to the, um, the little underground ruin thing that we found earlier. I love the way like the dolphins like follow after you. Thank you to uh, to John Boyce for the other uh, donation, as well as Wally Club who says how's it going. Uh, Dog Woof, uh, welcome back. And uh, thank you, Tucky uh, Tucker Wolfie, and uh, Crash Bang TV for becoming a member. Uh, Spaceman says, can you bring back twins? So we're not bringing back twins, but Squashy and I have talked about doing a new series on her channel. So I don't know exactly what it would be. But it would probably end up being something like similar to, to twins. 
so Koof Human says, uh, you can fix Trident with, uh, oh, with the shells and an anvil. Ah. If I didn't need the shells so much to make this conduit thing, that might be, a uh, something that I'll think about doing. Should probably be, oh, 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 there's a light down there. Oh, what's that? You guys see that? What's that? That's not a shipwreck, is it? It looks like it's stone. Ooh, there's a thing. I found a thing. Oh, another treasure map. Let's grab the, uh, let's grab this as well. Okay, let's not. Let's not. Oh, go up. Go up, 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 up. Help me, dolphin. Dolphin, help me. Help me swim up, dolphin. Dolphin! <laughs> I think the dolphin gave me the much, the much needed boost at the, the final second. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you drown faster than you used to? Or, or is it just like I'm spending more time going under the water than I used to? Because <laughs> that was scary. Is this another treasure map? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm close. I mean, this wasn't the plan, but we're close. Should we get the treasure? Yeah, everyone telling me to get the treasure. All right, looks like it's right about like here-ish. Right, this shovel ain't gonna last long, but oh well. Right, now I know it can be under the, the sandstone. I think this one should hopefully uh, be a lot quicker to find. This is kind of fun. It kind of gives you like a bunch of like little, like little extra bonus missions. Like when you're going and exploring to go and like try and find stuff. It's quite cool. Right, I don't think it would be much deeper than that. So let's just kind of like dig around on this level and try and avoid a uh, a giant sand avalanche landing on my head because if the sand lands on the chest it all gets destroyed anyway so it's like should be like right about here-ish if like the x is accurate I just saw saw a block of a different colour and got my hopes up. I oh, welcome back, Emily. Missed part of the stream because uh, someone in my building decided to set their toilet on fire. Yeah, I have no idea how. Wow. Yeah, how does uh, how does that happen? <laughs> I mean, as far as excuses go for missing the stream, I mean that's a pretty great one. I remember um. Like, I used to get the train to school. And one time, when we were, like, on the train, there was a horse. And this is all real. A horse, like, was, like, on the track. And so the train had to stop. And we were there for, like, hours. And there was this train there. And I think it's because they had to, like, it was, like, turn all of, like, the power off or something. And then, like, turn it all back on. And they couldn't move this horse and they didn't know who the horse belonged to or something and so i was late to school because of that and i remember just loving like just like strolling into the classroom halfway through a lesson and being like sorry miss there was a horse in front of the train and so i couldn't arrive on time i just really enjoyed like saying what would sound like a really bad excuse but like actually being true i would have been here earlier if it wasn't for the horse and the train <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had the uh, the toilet on fire excuse. <laughs> hmm, so is the is the chest always in like the sandstone layer 
Or can it be in the, the sand layer as well? Like, so I only found, like, my only uh, one I've ever found is the one we found earlier. So I don't know, like, what the rule is, like, how much it varies for how deep it could be. I'm too deep. Someone said, only in the sand layer. Well, see, people said only in the sand layer before, and it was under the sand layer. It was, like, in the sandstone layer. Right, let's dig a, let's dig a little bit more around the top up here, then. Let's just clear this whole bit of the, the sand out then. Well, at least if I ever want to build anything out of sand after this, I'll have, I'll have plenty of sand. See, that's what I mean. You see that? See how, like, I put it in my... So what is it? Is it because I think what it is... Is like, I say, when I say I press, I put it down, then I back out the menu, but it hasn't registered it yet. And then that's how I always mess things up. Because if you saw, like, I put the, the map in my hand, and it was there for a second, but then when I backed out, it was gone. And those kind of mistakes I'm constantly making on Bedrock, and it drives me on. There's so many times where I've, like, gone to grab something out of a chest, or, like, gone to put on armor, but it hasn't done it. And I think it's just I'm trying to do it too fast, and the game just, like... Lags behind a tiny bit. And it's like something that would be such a minor thing, but because it's happening all of the time, and it like it just gets annoying. And I, I don't know whether it's like, is it me messing up doing it wrong somehow? Or is it the game like, what, like, what can I do to stop being continually doing that basically? <laughs> So like around the top bit up here somewhere maybe? I thought this would be like a a short detour to come and grab this thing. I don't know like how much I was gonna need to dig away to find it. This is like my um Ah, oh, what's the game called? What's the game where you like you build a sand castle each? And then like you hide wall in it. And then you gotta like break away the other person's sand castle to find the wall in my in my fun land. Is it like cut? Is it like sand? What was that game called? Anyone? Anyone? Remember? Oh, Castle Crumble. That was the one. This is like a weird version of Castle Crumble. I'd have probably given up by now if, like, if it wasn't for the fact that the last time I did this, I generally got really good loot. <laughs> so, now I'm getting a bit greedy. Stand oh, there isn't always treasure? Oh, really? Oh, surely, surely there's got to always be treasure. Is that, is that, is that really a thing, that there, there isn't always treasure there? <gasps> there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Right. Okay. What do we get? What do we get for our troubles? Right. Let's first. Let's get rid of some of the sand. That's too much sand. Let's get rid of the snow as well. And I got rid of them. All right. Grab the iron and the gold. More TNT. Another heart of the sea, which is pretty cool. A book and quill. Loads of iron. Actually, let's say that. Actually, if we got this many prismarine crystals, let's uh, let's grab them. Another book and quill. Nice. All right, we should probably uh head back now, seeing as like my my pockets are so full up. I guess the good news is is that we didn't actually uh <laughs> we didn't make it very far anyway, so it won't take that long to to get back home. I'm gonna try and keep like a, a lookout under the water. Oh, there's a thing here. 
Oh, is this a shipwreck? Is this what they look like? I think this might be like quite a small shipwreck, maybe? Oh, there is a chest in there. Oh, there's a few chests. I think we found, our, uh, we found a shipwreck. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need the dolphins. Oh, another diamond. Oh, we can make a diamond sword now. Uh, let's get rid of the cobblestone. Grab all the iron. Got some emeralds. Uh, let's get rid of the rotten flesh. Don't know why. Don't know, don't know how that su survived in my inventory so long with all this stuff I've been switching out. Then I think there was another chest as well, right? Yeah, I see you. I see your little hidden chest down here. Uh, I don't really care about the paper that much, but there's another treasure map. I think I'm uh, about done for, for going after treasure for now, but... I guess I'll, I'll good to have a spare one. So let's throw away this treasure map. This one's already been done. I go grab the, the shield again. Oh, no, no, sword, come back! No! Actually, you know what? Seeing as I've just, um... I've got my underwater breathing potion... I could try and look for more of the shells. The shells of which I can never pronounce their name right. Oh, there's more treasure? Did I miss another chest? Alright, I'll go back. I'll go back. Yeah, so how many of these uh, shells do I have? I got four, and I think I need like nine, I think. A Nautilus. Nautilus. Nautilus shell, is that right? Where was the other one? Is it in here? Around the back? Where's where's secret chest number three? Oh, did I hit the dolphin? I'm sorry, dolphin. I'm sorry. Where's the, uh, where's the last chest? Oh, I found it. Oh, there's only two? Oh, is that just because of the stream delay? You just thought I missed the other one. Okay. I see. I gotcha. Where do I see how much longer I've got of my... Of my enchantments. Like I can see in the top right. Does, is there a, a thing that says how long I have left? Or is there not? Oh it's, oh it's flashing. I think we're running out of time. Oh it's gone. It's gone. Okay. Let's, give, let's try and find our way back to the boat. I'll press left on the D-pad. That brings up like the, the chat. It's my, it's my old treasure map. <laughs> right, home. Just judging by the coordinates, I would have completely uh, lost track. But judging by the coordinates, this is us heading back home. Thank you to Tenno for the donation. Says you just hurt the uh, the dolphin's feelings. Uh, the trailers and movie says, what's the schedule going to be for Lovely World? So at first, I think it'll be one a week every Wednesday, I think will be the, the plan. Uh, Yeeman says uh, you can combine weapons to repair them. I think that was already in the, the game with like anvils though, right? I don't think that's uh, like a new thing. Oh, I'm not going the right way here, I don't think. I think I need to go around the other side of here. The right review says, my childhood has re uh, returned. Uh, Frags asks if I'm on Xbox One. Yep, this is currently on uh, on Xbox One. Uh, thank you to, uh, to Big River Squid. It says, glad to catch you live. You have inspired me for four years. Uh, even to learn Java with, uh, cookie-dums. Uh, so I can make mods. Thank you. And how are the pets? The pets are doing good. You can see one of the pets <laughs> behind, <laughs> behind you there. 
Ori will be uh, will be roaming about someplace. Oh, this isn't my house. This is just a bit of a bit of lava. I posted a, a picture on Instagram of Ori because we've been clearing out the house because we're moving. So there's I don't know if you can see. Actually, I think I've moved it. I don't know where it is now. But there's a plant which he always goes to try and eat. And oh, I'm on this side now. Whoopsies. Uh, there's a plant that she always tries to eat. So I put it up on this shelf. And she kept trying to, like, find her way up to, to try and get to this plant. I took a picture of her just, like, sitting in the drawer, which is where she, like, ended up just, uh, ended up just waiting just to try and find it. Alright, let's go sleep. It rains a lot in Bedrock, doesn't it? That's something I've done. It definitely rains more. Unless I've just been very unlucky, but it's, like, always raining, I've found. Thank you to, uh, to Lindsay. He says, if you throw an item near where dolphins, they'll pick up the item and play with it. And also, pandas can eat cake. Wow. That, I think that's the most two revelatory <laughs> things I've been told about the new additions that have been added to Bedrock. Both of those things have just blown my mind. Pandas can eat cake? And the dolphins play with items? Really? Uh, like, like, what happens if I throw like, like in a spider? I will, will the dolphins play with the spider eye? Just trying to, trying to think of something that I don't necessarily care about keeping hold of. Well, I can make a diamond sword actually now. Keep an eye out if any more of those have the shells while we're out here. Anyone see any dolphins? I don't know, I always like sit up <laughs> while I'm when I'm like looking around, I'm literally like this, like, any dolphins? To the left, to the right. Oh god, that goes deep, doesn't it? Well, I wish I still had my water breathing potion to go down there. Okay, no, too scary. Too scary. Oh, what's that sound? Dolphins! Dolphins! Dolphin! Oh, hello! Wow! Hi! I've got a spider eye for you to play with! Do they, do they play with spider? What, what, is there any like limits to what they play? What about this shovel? This shovel's almost broke. Dolphin! Right, so what did you do? Throw an item in the water near dolphins, they'll pick up the item and play with it. Dolphins! Dolphins! Shovel for you to play with! Hello! Oh, there it is, there it is! Go, go, go! Get it! Get the shovel! Am I doing it right? I don't think this dolphin wants to play with my shovel. I don't think the dolphin wants to play with my shovel. It's not interested. We we try we try another time. All right. Let's see if we can find some more of those shells then, because that's kind of what the. Uh... Well, actually, oh, there's a few dolphins here. Let's just throw the shovel down, and see if they start play with playing with it. Well, we're looking for more of these shells anyway. I mean, there's a bunch of the drown. I mean, you know, it might be easy just to fish them up. Oh, you going for the shovel? Are they going to play with the shovel? Play with the shovel! Or oh, they're right underneath it. Why won't you play with my shovel? <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Play with the shovel. Oh, you're so close to it. No, they ain't gonna do it. Right, I'm picking my shovel back up. Right, if you're gonna play with it, I'll play with it. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a diamond sword. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a fishing rod. I'm gonna try and fish up some of the uh, the shells. Because there's loads of the drowned, but none of them have it. Uh, make scaffolding with string and, uh, and bamboo. Uh, I don't have any, um... I don't have any bamboo yet. 
Uh, I didn't know you needed string as well though, but that's worth bearing in mind because I do want to make some scaffolding. Right, so I believe I have two diamonds. Can you find a panda? Everyone's talking about panda. I, I want to find a panda. What's the uh, what's the biome that we get pandas in then? Is it like are pandas like rare, or are they just like like any other mob? So I'd obviously love to find a panda. Right, diamond sword. Goodbye, iron sword. You served me well, but you have been replaced. So I need, I think it's like eight, eight of these shells that I need to make. So I'm trying to make a conduit. Then how much string do I need to make a fishing rod? Just two, okay. So I'm trying to get, I, I keep getting, what, I need to like nail the name of this shell. It's the Nor, Nautilus. Nor, let me look up a pronunciation, pronunciation thing. Nautilus. 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 Right. Nautilus shell. We need we need we need to find some more Nautilus shells. Are they like um like a rare thing to to fish up, or is it a pretty good a uh, pretty good chance to get them? Uh, oh, bamboo forest is where we get the uh, the pandas from. Yeah, that that might be maybe a. A mission for a future stream though to, to go panda hunting I don't mean like hunting <laughs> to kill pandas but hunting for pandas I guess hunting to try and find pandas <laughs> oh yeah oh Jared as well said uh pandas spawn in bamboo forest that's good because I, I want to find pandas and also I want to play around with bamboo and um the things you can craft with it as well so that would be a, a nice Double whammy if we're able to, to find one of them. Uh, Trailers of Movie says you should make a zoo in your lovely world. See, that's something that I thought about doing for ages. But I didn't I didn't like the idea of doing, like, fake animals. Like, building animals out of blocks I thought would be a bit weird. And I guess at the time there wasn't really, like, any exotic animals in Minecraft. Like, it'd be a bit weird to be like, come to my zoo, see the pigs and the sheep. I guess now there's, like, pandas and stuff it could be done. Thank you to uh, to Crazy Doctor for the donation, as well as uh, as Gara, who says that uh, you inspired me to make a cafe in Animal Crossing. Okay, many shells here, are we? God, I tell you what, though, they're like <laughs> it's it's pretty speedy for just getting stuff. Hmm. I mean, it's kind of handy to have all of these fish, I guess, just for, for food, but... I thought this might be the, uh, the quicker way to get the, the shells. And it's not a... It's not proving to be particularly quick. Oh, there's a 0.7% chance of getting a shell? Oh, wow. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the the small fishing diversion. <laughs> but we are done. If it's going to take that long, I think we're just going to worry about it um, when it comes down to uh, getting them from, like, um, the, the drowned.
is just going to be the way to go. So that's, that's just going to take too long. So let's not stress about that too much. Like, I don't I don't even need to make a conduit for anything. It's just one of the new features of the game uh, that I just haven't played around with yet. And I thought, you know, I might as well start. Might as well start with somewhere, trying to get something. So what I want to do now is I want to do the... Um... Right, let me get this right. So I want to go to the Pillager Outpost. Okay. And I want to do the, the event. Uh, the raid. I want to do the raid. So I think... So I think I just kill one of the pillagers, right? And then that starts the raid. Does that does that sound correct? Is that what I, I need to be doing? It's hard. So oh, someone said, "Oh God, good luck." Oh, is it tricky? I mean, look, I got a diamond sword now, and full iron armor. And I got a, 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 a trident. Uh, oh, I need I need to get the guy with the, the banner. I mean, we can just try it if you want. So I remember seeing there was a... Uh, there was an outpost somewhere. Like, I've seen an outpost in this world. I can't remember where. I think it might be back by the other village. There's like two. This is nice. I think there's like um, two villages that are quite close to me. So I think it might have been near the other one. Not this one. Right, we're going we're gonna to get ourselves into a battle now though. So for all of you that were falling asleep while I was fishing. <laughs> things are going to get more exciting now. Yeah, so I think this village is kind of clear. I, I think it was by, there's like the other village. In like the more kind of masonry type area. Area, I think it was somewhere down that way. Be careful, good luck. Is it really tricky then? Am I, uh... Am I biting off more than I can chew with this? It's very difficult. I'll try. I, I guess like I have to learn. I have to learn at some point, you know. Uh, get a bow first. They have bows and arrows. So, ah, see the things. Even if I like, I got a bow, but I just ain't got um, I ain't got any arrows. So probably wait till I got diamond armor. I just, I just want to, I just want to see. I think if I'm very uh, strategic, I'm very careful. I think I might have a bit of a chance. I give it my best shot. Everyone's saying that I shouldn't do it. It's too difficult. <laughs> I'm going to bravely ignore your warnings. These poor, poor villagers have no idea what's about to happen. Right, I think this was the, the town, or the village, I guess, that I saw it near. Yeah, I remember this little cat. So like a laggy bedrock, just even like opening. Like like you open a chest and like things don't load in for ages and stuff. Like we're not even playing on a, ooh, this is sparkly. Like, we're not even playing on, um, like, an online game. But it's still, like, laggy opening chests and stuff. It's really weird. Does anyone remember where the, uh... Where the tower was? 
I remember like is when I first started the the stream, like the last stream. We saw it pretty early on. And everyone was like, there's a tower, there's a tower, do the tower. And I was like, nope, I am not going near that until I've got like prepared a bit. Well, I remember it not being that far away. But now I'm actually trying to find, I can't see. Maybe I should climb up a bit higher. Let's climb up like this mountain here and have a look. Turn back now before you face your doom. Come on, you can make it, you can make it. Have I got any blocks? Let's do this the easy way. Right, well we're pretty high up. And we can see pretty far. Where was that tower? I remember it being really close to this village. I remember just thinking, oh, there's one of those, like, pillager things really close by. But now I just can't see it anywhere. Okay. You see even further now. And this is like right behind those mountains there. I've no idea where it is. My guess is it's that way because I found it when I was looking for like a place to live. And I was just kind of like searching all the way uh, around the land. And I know I'd have like, I was like avoiding like the deserts and stuff. Just because, like, I knew that wasn't going to be a place that I wanted to, to live. And so it's all, like, kind of deserts that way. So it's just going to have a little look this way. If I can't find it, maybe I'll, like, have a wander around outside a stream and try and remember where it was and stuff. Because this was just, like, a little random and prompt you, like, here's a thing I could do. Because I was also planning to build, like, a, uh, a better house and stuff as well. Like... <laughs> I mentioned the last week that I wanted to build like a a mansion on a hill was the plan and I haven't really taken any any steps to towards that yet oh there is a desert temple though I know this has been like the stream of being endlessly sidetracked but there is a desert temple I've got to go have a look right was that a desert temple there is one isn't it yeah all right let's go let's go check that out at least see where uh, what other goodies we can get I also got an unknown map did you guys see this? Map zero? Ah, oh, so is this just a map that could be like any area from like where I start using it? Is that not like to, to guide me to anywhere? All right, we didn't find the outpost, but we found the a temple at least. So let's go, let's go do this. Won't be a complete failure. And then we can go and head back. Oh, it's ba barely a temple here. Is that a, is that another? Oh, I think there's a desert village over there as well. Look at that, like, cool, like, flying rock. Uh, can we just, like, go through the middle here? Mm. There we go. <laughs> these need, like, a big upgrade. They haven't changed these in ages. Like, they're getting better, because, like, the thing I didn't like about all of these structures when they first added them... Like, things like this is they're always just exactly the same. Like, even, like, the, the dungeons and stuff. Not the dungeons, the, the strongholds. Even though they were, like, different layouts, it would always just be, like, the same few different types of room. Like, just put in a different order. And, like, these desert temples, like, they're always just exactly the same. And it's like, oh, here's the trap, which is the same as every other trap. Like, I feel like they might be able to, to make it so... I don't know, they're kind of more different from each other and they don't all feel exactly the same. Would be cool.
These never have that good loot in, do they? It really sounds like you're... Why does when you're piling up now really just sound like you're a horse galloping? It's so funny. Yeah, so was this like a desert village over this way? This is a pretty cool desert. I know like deserts are normally pretty boring, but like with like the... With like this village and then that floating rock and then that like cave over there, that looks pretty cool as well. I missed the horse armor, that's okay. I don't really care about horse armor. No big deal. I don't think the village around post was over here. I don't remember seeing this village before. I think if I was like anywhere near this village, I would have noticed it just because it stands out so much. I never know whether like these things are empty or they're just like taking a little while to load on on here. Anyone got any goodies? A bunch of beetroots growing. It's probably worth just sleeping here before I go and, uh, and head back. Whoa. Ooh, loads of emeralds as well, actually. Like, emeralds actually seem like worth getting more than they used to because so they never really seem like really worth it but now there's so many things that you can do like the the traveling salesmen's and stuff like more things to like trade with them and that they do seem a little bit more more worth going out of your your way to try and get now thank you to uh, to jack gaming for the donation as well as uh zoe who says uh, hi stamps glad i caught today's stream thank you uh el robo for becoming a, a member Oh, Grappled Apple says place stone walls around the village. Ah, is that like what I should do to like prepare before the uh, before the raid? That sounds like a smart idea. Uh, the 360 squad, if you hold your shield up, you can bounce their arrows onto them so they hurt themselves. Nah, of a good suggestion. Thank you as well uh, for the donation from uh, from Luke Fisher as well as Jackson. Uh, as well as uh, Matthew's Enchanting World. <laughs> Uh, Duncan says the trident is better than the diamond sword. Is it? Really? 17 down. Oh, it is better. God, I didn't think the... That's so weird. Is it like... Does it, is, does it attack slower? No, it does not attack slower. It's weird how, like, easy and, like, common, like, tridents are. And then, like, diamond swords are obviously still, you know, they're, they're diamond swords, you know? <laughs> we all know, like, how much of a pain it can be to, to get enough diamonds to get a diamond sword. And you've got to dig down into the cave and stuff. I'd kind of just assume that diamond sword would be stronger. Uh, tridents are hard to repair, though. Yeah, I guess, but, like... Like, because you can get them so... You don't even, like... Like, I already, like got a few of them you know I, I like i threw one away that i couldn't even be bothered to repair just because i had several of them like you there's there's no point even to like try and repair them if you can get them that easily uh the tower was by a desert yeah what i think i'll do is i'll i'll watch back my old stream like the stream i did the other day that's when i saw the the tower and try and like retrace my my steps and kind of work out where it was. And then uh, that that's going to be probably the, the easiest way to find it, rather than just like endlessly wandering around for for ages here. Might end up just getting a bit boring. Uh, Graham Lamb says, "Hey Stamps, what your opinion on Pewd's new Minecraft series?" Uh, I've not seen it, I'm afraid. So. No opinion. Thank you so much to, uh, to Astrid for the, uh, the donation. Uh, 
I was sure it was close because I remember finding it. Unless it was a different village, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. Because I think this is like right near where where I, I, I spawned in the world. So I was sure it was close to this village and this would be the village that would be raided. But I don't know, maybe I was wrong. There's a good chance I was wrong. I'm often wrong. <laughs> Uh, near the edge of water, says Morgan. Oh, is this people, uh, going back and watching the, uh, the old stream to try and track it down? I think I, I just won't worry about it too much for, for now. I'll get it eventually. I just really want to make that conduit. And I know it's, like, totally not, like... Oh! 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 Oh, look at that! Oh, it's so small. Look how tiny you are. Look at you compared to a fish. You're smaller than a fish. Oh, you're so very small. So when when it when it grows up, that's when it drops the um. Oh, what's the thing it drops? The. Oh, what's it called? What's the thing that it drops? The scoot. The scoot. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So it drops, so when that turtle grows up, it's going to drop a scoot. Yeah? Oh, look at you bouncing up and down. Wow. Who's a good little tiny turtle? So how, how, long, how long do they take to grow up? What do I, how do I, how do I get this scoot? So I don't want to let this opportunity pass. So, uh, can I, can I like... Can I can I put the can I put the turtle in a bucket? Will you will you come in my bucket? Will you are you no? Was it was it going to the water? Or oh, maybe it's about to grow up now. Maybe or maybe it was just being given birth. Is it gonna grow? Oh look at it swim! Oh you're amazing! You're an amazing little turtle. Look at you go! <laughs> Uh, oh, feed, feed it, see, uh, grass, oh, no, don't ruin this moment for me, guys. Go away. Feed, feed it seagrass. Okay. Oh, I'm drowning here as well, isn't I? Oh, no, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my turtle. Uh... So let's just have this regeneration potion now. Partly for the regeneration, but mainly just to clear up my inventory. So is this seagrass, I guess? No, is that not seagrass? Alright, how do, how do I get the seagrass? Is it like seed where it only sometimes drops, or am I doing something wrong? Oh, is this, is this seagrass, this long one here? Or is that just kelp? I think this is just kelp, right? I could feed it kelp. Where's it? Where's it gone? Where's my little turtle gone? Little turtle! Do you want some kelp? Little turtle, I've got some kelp! Ow. What was that? Oh, hello, little turtle! Oh, oh I think I'm drowning. Uh, I, oh, I got a shear. I got to use shears? And then is it is it this stuff? Oh no! I'm so sorry, dolphin. But you do keep no. Don't attack me, please. Don't attack me, cause I don't want to hurt you. Don't attack me, please. Oh no! I'm sorry. You keep. To be fair, dolphin, you keep going right in front of my face while I'm swinging dangerous things around. To be fair. <laughs> I'm so. I can't kill a dolphin though, can I? No, not even in self-defense. Hello, little, little sea turtle. I got some grass for you. There we go. Is that tasty? Oh, are you still attacking me, dolphin? All 
All right, let's, uh, let's fatten up this turtle then, shall we? <laughs> let's get a bunch more of this grass. Oh, another one of the shells. Something else we need, actually. As annoying as these guys are, pretty handy. So, do people, like, what's the general opinion on the drowned, by the way, guys? Because, personally, I ain't finding them that much fun. <laughs> like, what's the, uh, the general consensus from the, the community about the drowned? Do, do the drowned make the game more fun? I feel like it depends what sort of player you're like. If you're a player that's, like, after the challenge and your big old goal is to, like, beat the dragon and stuff. But that's not really kind of what I think about when I think about Minecraft. I just find them a bit of a pain. Oh, they're really annoying. <laughs> People don't really like them. They're horrible. Uh, I don't care too much about those tridents, by the way, for everyone saying. <laughs> They're poo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, oh, here they are. Hey. Hey, little turtle. I've got more seagrass. Ah! <laughs> well, that happened all of a sudden, didn't it? Oh, here we go. Here it is. I got the scoot. I got the scoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they're killing all the llamas. Why are the village... Why are these guys always in the water? I'll save them. If I save them, will he give me a discount? Hmm. Nothing I really want. I'm going to still save them, though, because I feel bad otherwise. No! Poor llama. Actually, there's a few leads here might be worth uh, might be worth grabbing. I need, to, I need to go home. I need to clear my inventory out. This has become like an absolute mess of stuff. So let's go to the shovel. Maybe a dolphin will play, play with it. Uh, I just wanted to grab one of those leads. Because leads... Because you still can't craft leads, right? And so then now with this scoot... I can oh no I can't don't I need don't I need like loads of these scoots right Yeah I I need I need to make like a helmet out of the scoots so that's only one and I need to make a whole helmet's worth yikes I guess maybe finding baby turtles is pretty common like once I was able to like stuff it full of food it, uh it was actually relatively uh relatively quick uh growing up I guess the uh, the turtle helmets are probably pretty rare then. But so you can make like full turtle armor as well. Anyway, let's go home to bed. I'm going to go in the water just because I do still need to get more of those uh, those shells. Oh, leads are craftable? Oh, I didn't think they had added that yet. How do you craft leads now then? Uh, oh, with slime. Actually, I think I might have heard of that actually. Minecraft lead recipe. Uh, four string and one slime. Oh, okay. That's good, because it was always one of the weirdest things for ages. The fact that you couldn't craft them. So it's good that they've, uh, they've added that in now. Ah, oh, funny. Clear out my inventory a bit. Right. The stuff that I'm going to need more, like, readily, I'm going to put in this chest. Some of, more, some of the more special stuff. This will be my... This is the worst. Order. So i got blocks here. Everything else there. And then a few special things. <laughs> Which I'm going to place in, uh, in this one here. Yeah, this is a not a, a long-term storage solution we have going on here.
you could always craft leads. You're thinking of saddles. I am thinking of saddles. That's what I'm thinking of. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. So can you not? Can you can you craft saddles now? Is the question then? So if I throw this, the things everyone everyone kept so in the last fight I was hitting with the trident, and everyone kept telling me to throw it. But if every time I throw it, I've got to go pick it up again. Like that can't be worth it, right? Does it do like that much damage that it's worth throwing, without the uh, the enchantment for it to come back to you? I love the uh, the speed boost from the dolphins. You can't craft saddles. That's so weird. Such a weird thing. Especially if you like, you load up a world without like, uh, generate structures on. Like, can you just not get saddles if you don't have generate structures on? I always like that to be like a, a natural way for you to get items. Oh, there's one for shout. I think I just got quite lucky early on with how many of the drowned had the shell. And so I kind of assumed it was uh, more common than it actually is. I mean, it's not the hardest thing to like to get. And I think it's the kind of thing that like, if you're really going out of your way to try and get them. It can feel like it's hard to get. But it's sort of the thing that everyone's just going to be accidentally getting loads of anyway. Just from when they're facing ground. So I imagine it's probably something that everyone's got just like a whole chest full of them. Uh, I need Prismarine for the, the conduit as well. Oh really? I don't know if I've got any Prismarine. I might have to go check that. Yeah, like, hardly any of these. Like, there's loads of the drown down there. But not many of them with the, the shells. So I got some prismarine crystals. Is that what I need? Let me uh, look up the, the conduit crafting recipe. Oh, they don't need to be holding them to drop them. Oh, oh really? It has just been everyone that I've killed that has been holding it has dropped it. Oh, I don't, I don't need it to craft it. I think I think I just need it to like power it up or something. But I don't think I, I don't think to actually craft it. I don't, I don't think I need it. Okay, well if they don't need to be holding it, let's see if we can uh, just go and start killing them. Let's see if any of these actually drop the shells then. Like, the dolphins are great and all. But they're so because they're like, whenever I'm going around attacking things, they're always just swimming up right in front of my face. And it just makes me just so scared that I'm going to hit them all the time. Oh, they have a 100% drop rate of holding them. But then they can still drop them, even if they're not holding them. Alright, good to know. All valuable information. Oh, dolphins! Dolphins, I'm sorry! I'm not attacking you, I promise! Like... It's like the whole thing is like, I'm not punching you, I'm just swinging my arm up and down. But like, genuinely, I am. I'm there, swinging my diamond sword. And they take that as an opportunity to go, oh, hi. <laughs> now they're all angry at me. I don't want, and I don't want to fight back because they're dolphins and they're amazing. 
Uh, Reggie Rattler says, Hey, Subby, what's your best memory throughout your YouTube career? Uh, it's always so hard just to think of, like, a single moment. Like, oh, no, no, dolphin, no, 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 no. Get in the water, get in the water. It's okay, even if you're going to attack me, get back in the water. Um, I always remember the first time, like, like, I actually got, like, money. That's going to sound really bad. Like, yeah, I just did it for the money. But, like, like I'd been doing YouTube for years and years and years and years. And the first time I got, like, you know, just for fun. And then I remember the first time when I got paid anything from Google. And it was, like, it was, like, basically nothing. I think it was, like, three pounds or something. It was, it was like, just over, like, the threshold for what you could, what you needed to get paid at all back there. And I kind of, like... And it was the first time I, I kind of had the the idea that, you know, maybe it could be uh, a job. It was kind of a special moment. Uh, and, th and then everything else is just meeting people. Like, I've done quite a few um, kind of like either Make-A-Wish or Make-A-Wish type charities. And like, like kind of days and events and stuff with them. And they're always like have a big impact on me and like stay with me for a long time afterwards and then any of the times like it's not something that like I necessarily enjoy or would seek out doing but like any time it's like a big stage thing where it's me on stage which is like really not my comfort zone but it's just like looking out at a crowd of people that are like excited about like what you're doing and kind of uh, enjoying it and it just makes it real because Every, all of the actual, like, proper YouTube memories of things to actually do with YouTube, it's just me at home by myself, you know? Like, what people think of as, like, big moments of, like, ah, when you got, like, you know, when you got a million subscribers, it was like, yeah, but that day, I was just, I just looked at my computer and I saw that number. It doesn't feel real. So all of the, the bigger memories are when I, I have, like, interactions with actual, actual people. Cause that feels like a like a thing. Is that a good enough answer? Oh, dolphins are! I accidentally killed one of the dolphins, so now they're all really, really angry at me. Oh, do you're not making this easy. Do oh, I mean, like, the I love the dolphins, but <laughs> they really, really get in my way while I'm trying to go after these drowned. And look, look, they're like jumping out of the water to get me. It's ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to purposely kill the dolphins. Thank you to Marie's lo uh, Lolly, who says, uh, Watching this really brings me back to my early childhood of watching your videos 24-7. Honestly, this has uh, really made my day. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you as well to, to Bug, who says, uh, Thank you for, for coming back. And uh, Drew Gaming, who says, uh, Hey, Stampy. Uh, I don't have a lot, but I want you to know that you changed my life. Uh, my parents even liked you. My dad thought you were cool. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Stamps. Well, I know I've made it. Because Drew Gaming's dad thought I was cool. So, number one, number one YouTube <laughs> moment right there. <laughs> to be fair, that's different from the normal story of like, Hey, I really enjoy your videos, but my mum can't stand your voice and always tells me to turn it off. <laughs> that's, that's the sort of messages I normally get. <laughs> Please drop a shell. Please just drop a shell. Just one shell. Or two. Or two would be better. Stumpy's hair doesn't look right. Something's off. What do you mean? Don't let Squashy hear you say that. Squashy cut my hair. It's obviously because of lockdown. All of the uh, the hairdressers are closed. And my hair was getting way too long, so Squashy had to, to cut it. So <laughs> maybe that's what you're talking about. Alright, let's kill these, these this last group and then we'll go to bed. Oh, I think it dropped one. Did it drop one? It dropped something. It wasn't just rotten flesh, was it? Oh, I dropped gold? I mean, normally that would be fine, but I don't need gold. 
Uh, what country are you from? Uh, I'm from England. Uh, where is Alex? Alex is... Oh, wrong side. She's... <laughs> Where's... Let's play the game. Where is Alex? Can anyone find her? Alex is perfectly hidden and no one will ever, ever find her because of how brilliant her hiding place is. <laughs> Why, is she... <laughs> Why is she hiding behind a pillow? All like the piles of rotten flesh floating <laughs> in the uh, the ocean next to my house. Yikes. How's the move going? Uh, yeah, we're kind of still just uh, waiting for all of the, the legal stuff to, to go. There's a whole bunch of like paperwork and like stuff you've got to sort out when you're moving house. Like everyone always talks about like the difficulties of like, oh, you've got to pack up all of your things and get like movers and all of that stuff. The real challenge is all just like the legal stuff and like who owns this boundary and who has right of way to this gate and all of this, you know, when was the boiler last serviced? There's a whole bunch of super boring, but complicated, but also like really important stuff that you got to do when moving house. And we're like deep in the middle of all of that stuff and sorting out how we're going to get like, you know, how are we going to get power from there? And, you know, we didn't have, like, phone signals. So I've just switched to, like, a different phone network. So, like, at the new place, I'm going to have internet and uh, and my phone and stuff. So, yeah, we're doing all of that stuff. But hopefully it won't be, um, it won't be too long uh, until I'll be able to move into the new place. It will mean that there will be a bit of a break from live streams. I'm hoping that uh, Space Den will uh, continue. And maybe even Lovely World will start around then. So video should happen, but just while I'm going to be busy with uh, with moving and um, not have my office set up there, there will be a bit of a of a gap from uh, from live streams, probably in about like I don't know, maybe two weeks time, hopefully. How did you come up with your laugh? Says Oliver. It's <laughs> it's not a thing you sit down and plan. And if you were to like sit down and plan and like design a laugh, I don't think my laugh would be the. Uh, would be the one you'd go for, right? <laughs> Thank you to uh to Mystic uh, Mystic for the donation. Drew Gaming says you get bonus points because my mum thought you were cool. My sister didn't think so though. Have fun. I hope I can meet you someday. <laughs> Thank you as well to uh, to Spaceman for the other uh, donation, as uh, as well as Cosmic Donut. Uh, asking whether the uh, the Terraria streams are over. Uh, they are for now. Like when the uh, the new update comes out on the platform I play on, then um, yeah, I'll probably uh, jump back in and carry on. But for now, like like now I've defeated the final boss. Like I felt like that was a a nice place to to end it on. So there's a chance uh, I'll go back in the future, but no plans at the moment. Uh, Ablob says, do you watch any uh, any anime? Uh, I don't watch any, like, shows, but I, I've always liked Studio Ghibli films. Uh, Squashy and I actually watched, um, Studio Ghibli film yesterday? No, 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 the, not last night, the night before, called, uh, Whisper of the Heart, which is one I had never seen before, and it was amazing, it was really, really good. I'm surprised it's, like, not one that, like, everyone always talks about Spirited Away, or, like, How's Moving Castle, like, there's the same ones people always talk about, but I've never really... Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can sit in the boat if you want to, it's not going to end well for you. Oh, um, yeah, it's not one I hear people talk about much, but it's actually really good. I think I need, I think I need just like two more of these shells. I'm sorry this is going on for so long, me trying to get them, and it's probably getting really boring for you. But I just want to make this stupid conduit just to say I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. I mean, like, this is kind of what, like, the point of doing this on a live stream rather than videos is I can spend a lot more time doing things. Maybe we can have a chat while we're doing it as well, but... Yeah, I don't know. If you're bored, maybe uh, click off and, like, check back in in about half an hour or so, and maybe I'll have find these last two stupid shells. Uh, you should watch The Cat Returns. It has the Baron as a character. I know! So we actually saw The Cat Returns before this one. And so when we saw the Baron in the, the uh, Whisper of the Heart, then it like really were like, oh, look, 
It's the Baron. So we, we and it's good because we kept expecting. Uh, actually, I won't speak about it. I was going to start speaking about it, but I won't in case anyone wants to watch it. It's on Netflix. So if anyone wants to watch it for, for free, as long as you have Netflix, you can. Uh, I should watch Ponyo. Oh, I love Ponyo. I think Ponyo, How's Moving Castle, and uh, My Neighbor Totoro are my favorite three. I also like Kiki's Delivery Service is really good. So you got my little block of their, their trident throw then. Do they definitely drop these shells when they're not holding them? What's the, uh, what, I might look this up. What's the, uh, what's the drop rate? I might just go and double check this just to make sure I'm not, I'm not wasting my time here. Right, the drowned. They do definitely drop them. Can be obtained through fishing. Uh, can be dropped rarely by drowned when killed. Uh, if they're hold. It says can be dropped rarely by drowned when killed if they're holding one. But it seems like they're always dropped when they're holding them. Like this says they... I don't know, maybe the wiki, the wiki's just wrong. Throw tridents at me. I'll throw tridents at you. But then I need to go and have a have a quick breath. <laughs> oh, dr oh, on Java it's rarely on Bedrock it's a hundred percent. Ah, okay, that makes sense. It still doesn't answer whether like. There's a chance for them to drop them when they're they're not holding them. Oh, it doesn't drop unless they're holding one. So that's what I thought at first, but then people told me otherwise. And then since then, I've not seen anyone. I think it, I think it might be better just to swim around and look out for when they're holding them rather than to go after them. Then. Uh, do I play on PS4 or Xbox? Uh, I play on both at the moment. This is on uh, on Xbox. I don't know why that I just find them so... When you see their little faces looking up at you and they swim towards you. I just always find they look so silly for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just the way they swim with their little arms out. Just like... They always look like they're smiling at you. I don't know if they're meant to be messing and menacing. They just make me laugh. Nope, none of them have shells. I didn't realise, like... How lucky I got earlier with all... Oh, here we go. That one, that one's got a shell. Yeah, I don't realize how lucky I got earlier with the ones, like, having shells. I didn't realize it was, like, quite a special rare thing at the time. Right, I, I think I just need one more now. Alex is snoring. I don't know if that's going to pick up on the mic at all. 
And Alex is <laughs> Alex is like properly snoring behind me. Uh, thank you, uh, Shilo plus four. Who says bring Squid back? What do you mean bring him back? He's not gone anyway. He still uploads. Something to do with me. Uh, Lightning the Wonder Dog says, uh, are you going to do any more Spyro? And if not, what game are you going to play next? Uh, no, not planning to do any more of the Spyro games. Uh, and I'm not sure what games. I'm, I'm carrying on with Animal Crossing. I don't know, like, what new um, single-player game I'm going to do next. Maybe the... Uh, I liked the look of the new Ratchet and Clank game on PS5. And I did play through... Uh, like the last Ratchet and Clank game on PS4. So that could be an option to, to stream through, if you reckon. Thank you too, uh, to Exponit uh, as well for the donation. It says you dropped this and has a, a first place medal. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, how are you and Squishy? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, Squishy's gone to the dentist at the moment and she hates the dentist. So we'll see uh, what kind of mood she's in when she gets home. Let me, yeah, let me just go and make sure uh, I have the right amount of shells. We'll go sleep as well. I, th I think it's eight I need to, to craft this thing. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I need one more. One more. And then I'm going to have enough. I could, like, go and, like, look in these rivers down this way. Thank you to, uh, to Kronta for the donation. Says you were my childhood. As well as uh, Lily Morton as well. He says, are you amazing and we love you, Stamps? Thanks for all the memories. Uh, so happy you're playing Minecraft again. Thanks for being amazing. Thank you so much. For all of the, uh, yeah, all the kind words. So everyone is just joining in and wondering what's going on. I want to make a conduit. For no reason other than I've never made or seen one in Minecraft. I want to learn what they're all about. So yeah, this series is all about me getting back into Minecraft. Learning about all of the new features and kind of getting used to, to playing on Bedrock. Getting used to controlling it. Getting a bit faster with the menus and crafting and stuff. While learning all of the new things. And uh, I'm one more of these Nautilus, Nort, Nort, Nautilus, 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 that's right, isn't it? I need, I, I need one more of the Nautilus shells in order to make this conduit thing. And I found like the first bunch of shells really, really quickly and now I just can't find any of them. So that's what I'm hunting for at the, the moment. Well, kind of, I guess, doing a little bit of a, of a mini Q&A in the chat as, uh, as we go. I think there's too many drowned. I think they're way too common, right? It just means that like anywhere in your world where you just put like like any water of this size, you're just going to be constantly having them there. Like in my lovely world, like underneath my house, is that just going to be full of like drowned all of the time now? I think the thing is, is that there's too many of them and like combat's just never really fun. Like in any game... Like, it's always, it's always a bit of a meme, isn't it? Like, how bad the water levels are. Just because you're so slow and stuff. I think the fact that there's so many of them, and the combat's so boring, because I'm, like, slowly drifting through the water. They're not, like, an interesting challenge. Like, they, I think they just become a bit of a nuisance. I think that's why they're so, like... Like, why they're annoying, but, like, zombies are fine. And the fact that they're there in the day as well, because it's sort of like, it'd normally be like, oh, it's your fault. If you're going to stay out at night, you might get attacked. Whereas it feels like these, it's like, oh, you decided to go in the water because you needed to go in the water. Now you're going to have to deal with these guys all the time, you know? And they're like, we've added in these exciting penguins and you can throw things down and they play with them and they give you speed boost. But you're going to be every few seconds having to turn around to kill these like quite weak, but numerous enemies all the time. That's why they're annoying.
Uh, but yeah, while I'm hunting uh, for these things, feel free to to leave any Q and A questions you have in. All right, I think I'm just gonna go back just to looking for one to hold. Oh, you you got a shell? Oh, this is the last one. Oh, I've got to be careful though, because I am running out of breath. Oh, we did it! We did it! Dolphins are pe- oh, did I call them penguins? Did I call them- <laughs> Really? <laughs> I've, been, I've been streaming for like two hours now. This is the time when my, my brain starts to melt. There we go, made a conduit. Thanks for watching, we'll see you later. Bye! No, okay. Right, <laughs> I don't even probably know what this does. But I think I placed it in the water. So this is where it's going to be annoying, so I'm going to be trying to play with this thing in the water, but all these drowned are going to keep showing up and getting in the way. Right, so I'll just place it down. And then I like I power it, I think, with prismarine. Right, let's let's go tell it. Let's go and read the uh the full description of uh of what these these conduits are meant to do. Minecraft conduit wiki. As oh, a special structure is needed. Ah, okay. Let's see. Let's let's read what it says here. On the official wiki. Um. When activated, conduits give the conduit power effect to all players in contact with rain or water. Oh, you can do it when it's raining. Oh, that's cool. With a spherical range of 32 to 96 blocks. To activate, the conduit needs to be in the centre of a 3 by 3 by 3 volume of water, uh, which itself must be enclosed within an active frame. The frame is built out of blocks in their 5x5 five five open squares centred on the conduit, one around each axis. What? I thought I was just going to throw this down and get like some sort of boost. <laughs> yeah! There's a whole thing that I need. Oh! Uh, were you hiding down here? There's a, there's a whole thing. There's a whole ordeal to it. God, Alex is... Alex is really snoring right now. Like, can you hear her at all? She's snoring. No, I don't think I've heard, like, she often does, like, kind of, like, night whimpers, where she goes, like, rrr, rrr, like, like in, in, when she's in bed. Oh, that's not going to break that, am I? Oh, I can't pick it up again. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I guess that's where I'm going to have it. I can dig that away and build a, a thing around it. Maybe with Silk Touch, I'll be able to, to pick it up. But yeah, she's like really snore, snoring right now. <laughs> that was crazy. Right, okay. Well, we were able to make our... Uh, we were able to make our conduit. Let me just go get back safely uh, inside of the, the house. So that was like the main goal for what I wanted to, to do for today's stream. And uh, I was able to, to do it. And then I think the plan for the next stream is... Well, I think between streams... Between streams, I'm going to work out where the uh, the lookout tower is, the, the pillager outpost. I'm going to build what I need, if I can, for the 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 conduit. I'm not sure if I can, though, because I think it needs to be prismarine. It's just from, like, a text description is too complicated. So I think I'm going to have to watch a tutorial video for how it works. And then maybe have a bit more of a play around of that. And then I also just need to do some more mining. So I need to get some materials. Then there's a few of the other new things I wanted to play around with, like... um. Like the lecterns, if you put a book on them, apparently they send redstone signal. There's some of the new redstone stuff I want to mess around with. So, uh, yeah, we can do the, the pillager thing. We'll mess around with uh, with that stuff. And then I also want to start uh, maybe working towards building a bit of a of a grander and uh, and better house. So I think that's going to be what the, the plan is going to, to be uh, going forward. Uh, yeah, sorry it's a little bit slow, this stream. Uh, I kind of knew, like, it's, it's me trying to learn the game again and stuff. I knew it was going to be a bit slower, but... I did not know it was going to take uh, <laughs> quite so long messing around with all of those shells trying to, to get them all. But uh, yeah, thank you uh, for your, your patience uh, throughout all, all of that. Uh, before I go, I want to say thank you to uh, a few more donations that came through. And then I'm going to go wake my dog up because she's been lazy and sleeping all day long. Uh, thank you to Cat Cakes 
who says, uh, can you wish Matt and Sarah a happy 16th birthday? I can. Happy birthday, Matt and Sarah. Like, are you twins or is it just both of your, your birthdays on the, the same day? Either way, I uh, hope you have a, an amazing day, assuming that it is actually today and not like it's technically on the weekend, but say happy birthday today, which <laughs> I always love that. So you can always have like almost like extra birthdays. Uh, thank you as well to, uh, to Elise uh, as well. He says, I watched you when I was younger. And although I don't watch you now, thank you for being positive, uh, a positive influence on my life. Uh, you're an amazing man. Thank you so much. Uh, Golden Savage says, you should play Hermitcraft. People say that to me all the time. And I see people talking about it. And I'll be honest, I don't even really know what it is. Like, I thought it was a mod, but now I think it's a server. Or is it a YouTube series? I don't even know what it is. Um, but I probably won't play it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, but it probably won't be the kind of thing I want to play. But, um... Yeah, it seems really popular though. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Shimmer's Fun, uh, who says, "Will I play the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC?" And uh, I don't think I will. I think I'm kind of done with uh, with Pokemon Sword and Shield for for now. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Cyderbass, who says, uh, "You are my childhood." Thank you, uh, as well as uh, Aurora, who's uh, become a member and now joined an egg. By the way, speaking of members, uh, I've seen the eggs are starting to hatch. So the way it works, when you become a member, there's an egg that appears next to your name, and then the egg will gradually hatch and out will come a bird. And it's basically uh, each month you remember for. Uh, it goes, yeah, see Emily? Uh, it says cracked. So uh, the eggs are starting to, to hatch. So that's stage one of the hatching process, which is, uh, which is quite cool to, to see uh, because that was my first time. Uh, I saw that before the stream started that that had happened. <laughs> uh, and thank you as well to, uh, to Lily Morton. Uh, as well for the uh, for the the donation, uh, but yeah, that will be the uh, the end of this stream here. I'm not sure when the next stream will be, uh, but I'll try and uh, as much as I can uh, schedule it ad in advance on the the channel, so you will be able to to see uh, ahead. And if you are able to to catch it, I guess I will see you then. But for now, and I thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs>